What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what Taylor Swift said about AMC. I know I just went over what Adam Aaron said in my last video that I posted today, but he just released another tweet a couple hours ago. So I am going to go over that after I tell y'all what Taylor Swift just said. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I talk about AMC stock every single day. So Taylor Swift posted this on Instagram three days ago. She said, what a truly mind blowing thing you've turned the Eras Tour concert film into. I've been watching videos of you guys in the theaters dancing and prancing, creating inside jokes, casting spells, getting engaged, and just generally creating the exact type of joyful chaos we're known for. One of my favorite things you've done was when you supported Cruel Summer so much. I ended up starting the Eras Tour show with it. For old time's sake, I'm releasing the live audio from the tour so we can all shriek it in the comfort of our homes and cars, plus a brand new remix by LPG whoever the hell that is. Thank you so much forever. Wow, just thank you. So Taylor Swift said this, then Adam Aaron goes on to say that this was the number one movie in the world. The second weekend has just started barely. It is Saturday night right now when I'm filming this. I'm sure everyone that stays up to date with AMC has seen all the videos of freaking all these girls going crazy in AMC theaters, turning it into a concert. The amount of revenue that has been made, I mean, that post has 8.8 .8 million likes. If we go to this one that has 7 million likes, she said the whole click snapped. And where are they outside of? If you look right here in the corner, they're outside of AMC. Nowhere else, we got her and Beyonce outside of the one and only AMC. When Q3 comes out, it's going to be insane. When Q4 comes out, it's going to be absolutely mind-blowing, and I think it's going to send this stock parabolic, not financial advice. She's literally inside AMC theaters here with Beyonce. What do you think is going to happen? In this one, she said, I'm so glad I'll never know what my life would have been like without Beyonce's influence. So Beyonce is over there freaking throwing popcorn and shit, and she's still coming out in December, so we've already broken records with Taylor Swift. A bunch of revenue has came in and it's just continuing to pour in. Now, Beyonce is also to come out on December 1st. I mean, give me a break here. Give me a freaking break. This is why my life savings is in AMC. I'm not telling you to do the same thing as me. I might be stupid, but I don't care. That's how much I believe in AMC, especially with how low it is right now. The way she's taught me and every artist out here to break rules and defy industry norms, her generosity of spirit, her resilience and versatility. She's been a guiding light throughout my career and the fact that she showed up tonight was like an actual fairy tale. Look at her and freaking Beyonce just sending AMC to the freaking moon, guys. So Adam Aaron did tweet this right now, literally a couple hours ago. He said, indeed, I do read my Twitter feed at Dane Cook. I am old fashioned. I haven't adjusted yet to calling it my ex feed. Send me an email at Aaron at amctheaters.com and give me both more details and contact information for you. So Dane Cook said, I don't think CEO Adam reads his ex feed, but if he wants to distribute the biggest comedy special of 2024, he should find me here. The final edit is overscaled 4K because I shot it from the big screen. If not, maybe Elon Musk wants to do the first direct premiere on X on New Year's Eve. Adam Aaron is ready for all the money moves. That's why I guess he responded to this. This guy commented under this post. He said, hey, at Adam Sandler, no intention to reaching out to AMC Theaters or CEO Adam for distributing your I Missed You Tour film, both domestic and worldwide. I mean, it's nonstop with this guys. Nonstop. Taylor Swift and Beyonce are just the start if we do scroll down a little i did go over this in my last video but he said basically that last weekend taylor swift the heiress tour was the number one movie on the planet on the planet guys number one gold so make sure to go watch my last video if you haven't already i did go into detail on what adam aaron did say and i also did cover amc stock so make sure to go watch my last video if you haven't already but that's what taylor swift just said freaking adam aaron over here tweeting this shit on the weekend why doesn't he tweet this when the market opens who knows i mean i don't know what's going to happen with amc we really don't on monday we could see it plunge we can see it skyrocket i'm honestly hoping that it goes down a little because i am getting paid on thursday and i'm ready to buy a call option i want to go all in on this thing at least a $300 call option, I'm ready for it. So if I could get in at $8 or $7, I'll be more than happy to. $9, I'll still take it. Hey, we'll just have to see what happens this week. I wouldn't mind if it goes down. I would love it for it to just squeeze to a million dollars. Let's first get to $20, you know? 
and then we'll see what happens from there. But if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down and subscribe. I talk about AMC stock every single day. I update you guys on everything and we're about to hit 700 subscribers. At 1,000 subscribers, I am going to be going over every time I bought and sold. This channel is only about seven weeks old and we're about to hit 700 subscribers. It's unbelievable. I love every single one of you that have subscribed, every single ape, every single AMC investor. I hope you guys enjoy this little update and I'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know i'm buying the dip here we go come on push it buying the dip buying the dip here we go come on push it buying the